We leven in een VUCA-wereld. Een wereld die volatile, uncertain, chaotic en ambiguous is. Luister naar Peter Fisk en ontdek wat dit betekent voor marketeers. So we live in this incredible world where we have this enormous amount of data which we've got to do things with. We've got these incredible new skills and technologies which we can use. We've got new markets opening up in every part and in every continent. So what do we do as a marketer? I certainly feel that like I live in a VUCA world. Do you feel like you live in a VUCA world? <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> what is a VUCA world? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> but I live in a VUCA world. A VUCA world is volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous. Do you feel like you live in a VUCA world? Yeah, I'm posing. Aha. <laughs> So sometimes we have our heads down, we think all this economic crisis and all these change things coming towards us is too much. How can we cope? But at the same time, it's not just volatile, but it's vibrant. It's full of opportunity to do things which we could never do before. Instead of thinking uncertain, it's unreal in the way in which physical and digital can come together. Instead of complex, it can be crazy in terms of the number of things we can do. And instead of ambiguous, it's astounding the impact, the return on investment which you potentially could have. So we live in this incredible world where marketers are really driving the business. And what I want to talk about in the next 10 minutes is how marketing really is the driving force of business today. In a big sense, in terms of driving the organization forwards, finding the best opportunities for growth, profitable growth, but also delivering to the customer, to in every individual, every time. On one side, we've got to zoom out, see the big opportunities, find which country, find which segment, find which category we want to be part of to define our business perhaps in a new way. But at the same time, we've got to zoom in and use that wealth of data which we now have available to us to do things which we could never do before and to do them better in real time than our competitors. So zooming out and zooming in, if you like, is the challenge for all of us as marketers. So if you think about, well, what does marketers, do marketers do? Well, the strategy. So we think about where's the organization going? Where's our brand going? How do we engage our customers in different ways as we move forwards? There's innovation, there's communication, there's delivery. So let's think about the strategy bit. On one side, we've got to think about where's the best growth opportunity. So can I shift my business from focusing on, say, a certain part of Europe to a certain part of Asia or Africa or South America? So there's the big global challenges or questions which we have. But at the same time, it's saying, well, actually, niche markets tend to be much more profitable. How can I be much more selective, not serving everybody as averages, but serving smaller numbers of people? And how do those niches run across the world as opposed to defined in the demographic or geographical ways? Next challenge is about thinking, how do I innovate? So how can I think bigger? How can I be disruptive? How can I zoom out and think about how can I make discontinuous changes presenting using the opportunities of technology and of increased expectations of the customers? So how can I do bigger things, but at the same time, how can I keep doing incremental things because I need to deliver performance in the next quarter? If we think about communication, how do I zoom out and think about how do I think about the story which I really want to tell for my brand? How can I engage people in this bigger idea which my brand is about? But at the same time, how do I zoom in to work in real time? Not with the blasts and the campaigns, but being able to engage each different customer in a different way on every day. And finally, about delivery. How do I zoom out and think about the bigger things which I'm trying to do to help customers to achieve their objectives? So an experience, a customer journey which goes beyond the sale. A customer experience which enables them to do things which they could never do before. But at the same time, how can I zoom in so that every different touch point, which I'm in control of or which the customer does themselves, 
is both consistent and personalized and compelling to them. So zooming out and zooming in is a challenge which every business faces today. So whether you're Google and you're thinking zooming in and saying, how do I make my algorithms better for my search engine, or you're zooming out and you're thinking about, well, how can I create Google Glass, driverless cars, cures for cancer, whatever it might be. Whether you're GE in the B2B world and you're zooming in and you're saying, well, how can I support people to use my existing products in a better way? Or you're zooming out and thinking, how can I be a leader of the Internet of Things and create brilliant machines which people can understand how this technology engages and can help to change their lives? So zooming out and zooming in is a different way of thinking. We've got to work in a world which thinks about the five, ten year time frame, but also thinks about the five minutes to three months time frame. So being able to work as a marketer is incredibly important. We know on one hand that if we can make 1% improvement in our pricing, be that through less discount or through improved price, then we can make it an 8.7% improvement to our offer rating profit. The difference is phenomenal if we can just engage our customers in a slightly better way. We also know that 74% of companies do not have the confidence to plan ahead. And if they don't plan ahead in today's world, they're not going to be around more than, say, three years' time. So thinking about how do you zoom ahead is incredibly important. I started my life as a nuclear physicist. And I guess my hero for nuclear physics was Albert Einstein. The interesting thing about Albert Einstein is he was a terrible mathematician. <laughs> what he did to actually move forwards was to imagine possibilities, to see patterns in nature, to look to parallels from other places and to think, well, what if this connected with this? And then to prove the hypothesis through mathematics afterwards. So sometimes it's about thinking, how can I look at the big world, but then how can I use the little world to prove my hypothesis? So that's largely right brain thinking and then proving it with left brain thinking. So when we zoom in and we zoom out, on one side we have to see the big picture. We need to use our right brain. That's about being intuitive. That's about seeing the patterns, the trends in the world. But at the same time, we need to use our left brain. That's about being focused. And that's about being able to zoom in on the individual and the moment which matters most. So think big and think small. But the thing I'd like to leave you with this morning is that I think marketing is the most important thing in business but it's also the most exciting time for marketers because we can shape markets like never before and therefore we can shape business like never before. But we also are the people who connect the organization to deliver the customers, to enable them to do things which they never thought were possible. So think about the VUCA world, not as a world which you hide and think, hey, it's scary. All this data, all this change, how do I cope with it? Think of it as a VUCA world which is vibrant, unreal, crazy and astounding at the impact in which you can have. Thank you very much for your attention and good luck. <laughs> <laughs>